Now we are going to talk about another topic, which is the nested route. The nested route is not a feature that we'll be using in our app, but since we are talking about routes, I just wanted to create a short tutorial about it. We have seen the nested components in the details view. Inside the movie details component, we are loading other components, which in this case we call the child components. Now, if you don't want to load them when the movie details component is loaded, you can load the nested components or the child components by using nested route. So let's say you want to load the actors whenever you just want to see the actors of this movie, and then you want to load the reviews whenever you click another button, and then similar movies the same way. So let me just go to Visual Studio Code. On the app route, what I'll do is that I'll just comment out all these lines, Control K C, and then I'll comment out this line as well, but then I'll just copy this one. I'll paste it down here. I'll just type in here, start nested routes, and then end nested routes, because I've said that we will not need this feature in our app. So I'll just add the code in here, then I'll comment it out. But if you want to use it in your projects, you can always just get this code and update it per your app. So we have in here the path. The path is going to be details ID. Then we have the details component. And then now in here, we're going to also define the children array. And the children array is basically just another array of routes. So in the children array, we're going to have now a new route. So the path is going to be, let's say, for example, for actors. We want to load the detail actors component. For actors, the component is going to be details actors component. Then for movies, we are going to load the details movies component. And then for reviews, we want to load the details reviews component. So you can see that we are just adding in here children. And then inside children, we are adding other paths. So the full URL now is going to be, for example, for the actors is going to be details, then slash, let's say one, and then slash actors. For the movies, it's going to be details, and then slash one, and then movies, and for reviews, the same. Now I'll just go to the details component. And then I'm just going to comment out all the lines of code where I'm loading the nested components or the child components. I'll just comment out all of them. Control K C. I'll just scroll up in here or just down here. I'll just type start nested components load and then end nested components load. I'll just make them comments. And now for the app to be able to load the nested component from the nested route, you need to define in here another router outlet. So let me just save the changes and go back to the app. And here you can see that now I have only the first section, but if I want to see, for example, the actors for this movie, I can just click in here and then type in here, for example, actors. You'll see that I have the movie title and then actors below here. If I want to see the reviews, I just change the actors to reviews. Now you can see that the reviews are down here and the same for the movie so for the similar movies you can see that i have the similar movies but since we are going to load all these nested components when the details component is loaded we do not need to have the nested routes so what i'll do is that i'll just go back to visual studio code and then in here i'll just comment out this line re-enable what i had And then I'll do the same on the app routes. I'll just comment out these lines and re-enable these other ones. Just comment out the feedback. And this is all about the routes. On the upcoming parts, we're going to talk about directives.